Om Shanti. Today's date is 14th October 2024. Morning Murli, Bab Dada Madhuban. Essence of the Murli is Bab Dada's elevated versions are Sweet children, hear no evil. You are sitting here in the company of the truth. You must not go into the bad company of Maya. By being influenced by bad company, you choke with doubt. So Baba is the truth and Maya makes us um, do the things that we are, that is wrong. So that is the bad company. So if we are influenced by the bad company, that is Maya, then we choke with doubts. We might even question or we might also not have faith on Baba. So Baba is saying just have the company of the truth. Question, why can no human being at this time be called spiritual answer? Because all are body conscious. How can those who are body conscious be called spiritual? Only the one in corporeal father is the spiritual father. Only he gives you teachings to become soul conscious because no one has this knowledge. All the souls have become so tamo pradhan that they cannot be called spiritual. Why? Because they are so much into body consciousness. The title, the supreme, can only be given to the father. No one apart from the father can be called the supreme. Om Shanti, when your children sit here, you know that Baba is your Baba, teacher and Satguru. There is a need for all three. First is the father, then the teacher who teaches you and then at the end there is the Guru. Here you have to to have remembrance in this way because this is something new. He is also the unlimited father. Unlimited means he belongs to everyone. So no one in the world can have father, teacher and Sadhguru in one person. Like they cannot have this relationship from just one person. But it is just Baba that who, is, who is our father, who is also a teacher and who is also our Sadhguru. They can have the father and his profession can be a teacher, but he won't be a Sadhguru. So this is something new that he is also our unlimited father. He belongs to everyone. Anyone who comes here would be told, keep this in your awareness. If any of you have doubts about this, raise your hands. This is something wonderful. For birth after birth, you never found anyone whom you would consider to be your father, teacher and Satguru and that too the Supreme. He is the unlimited father, the unlimited teacher and the unlimited Satguru. Did you ever find anyone like that? I was asking. You cannot find anyone like that at any time other than at this most auspicious confluence age. If any of you have doubts about this, you can raise your hands. The intellect of everyone sitting here has this faith. These three are the main ones. The unlimited father gives you this unlimited knowledge. There is just this unlimited knowledge. You have been studying many types of limited knowledge. Some becomes lawyer, lawyers, some become surgeons because all are needed here. Doctors, lawyers, judges, etc. There is no need for them there, where in the golden age, there is no question of sorrow there. So the father now sits here and gives you children unlimited teachings. 
only the unlimited father gives you unlimited teachings and you will then not need to study anything for half a cycle. You receive these teachings only once. That is, they are fruitful. That is, you receive the fruit of them for 21 birds. Doctors, barristers, judges, etc. do not exist there. You have the faith that it truly is like this. There is no sorrow there. There is no suffering of karma there. The father sits here and explains to you the philosophy of karma. Do those people who relate the Gita tell you this? So by saying like people who speak, who read Gita, do they tell you all this? The father says, I teach you children Raja Yoga. They have written God Shri Krishna speaks in that, but he is a human being with divine virtues. So he is Devta, but he cannot be called Paramatma. Paramatma is only one Shiv. No one uses the name Shiv Baba. He doesn't have any other name. The father says, I take this body on loan. This body this building does not belong to me. That is the body of Brahma. Shiv Baba also takes it on loan. Why? Because he does not have his own body. It is this one's building. It has windows, etc. So the father explains, I am your unlimited father. That is, I am the father of all souls. I also teach you souls. He is called the spiritual father. No one else can be called a spiritual father. Here, you children know that that one is the unlimited father. A spiritual conference is now taking place. In fact, that is not a spiritual conference. They are not truly spiritual. They are body conscious. The father says, children, may you be soul conscious. Renounce the arrogance of bodies. They would not be able to say that to anyone. The word spiritual is only used now. Previously, they just used to call them religious conferences. No one understands the meaning of spiritual. The spiritual father means the incorporeal father. You souls are spiritual children. The spiritual father comes and teaches you. No one else can have this understanding. The father himself sits here and tells you who he is. It is not mentioned in the Gita. I am giving you unlimited teachings. There is no need there for lawyers, judges, surgeons, etc. Because there is nothing but happiness there. There is no name or trace of sorrow there. There, there is no name or trace of, sorry, here, there is no name or trace of happiness. But in golden age, there is no name or trace of sorrow. So now in the iron age, it is the sorrow world. It is said to have disappeared. They believe that Happiness is like the droppings of a crow. They only have a little happiness. And so how could they give this knowledge of unlimited happiness? Previously, when it was the kingdom of deities, there was 100% truth. Whereas now there is only falsehood. This knowledge is unlimited. You know that this is the human world tree and that I am its seed. He has all the knowledge of the tree. People do not have this knowledge. I am the living seed. People call me the ocean of knowledge. You receive liberation and salvation in a second through this knowledge. I am the father of all. By recognizing me, you children receive the 
inheritance. However, there is the kingdom too. There are many number-wise levels of status in heaven too. The Father teaches the same study, but those who are studying it are number-wise. There is no need for any other study in this. There is no one ill there. They don't study for an income worth a few pennies. You take from here the unlimited inheritance with you. There you won't know how someone gave you that status. Only at this time you would understand. You have been studying limited knowledge and you have now recognized and come to the come to know the one who teaches you this unlimited knowledge. You know that the father is the father as well as the teacher who comes and teaches us. He is the supreme teacher and he teaches Raja Yoga. He is also the true Satguru. This is unlimited Raja Yoga. Those people would only teach you how to become a barrister or a doctor because this is the world of sorrow. All of those studies are limited, whereas this is an unlimited study. The father is teaching you this unlimited study. You also know that father, teacher, father and Satguru comes every cycle and that he teaches the same study for the golden and silver ages. Then he disappears. Your reward of happiness comes to an end according to the drama. This unlimited father sits here and explains to you. Only he is called the purifier. Would you say to Sri Krishna, you are the mother and father or the purifier? There is the difference of day and night between the status of this one, that is Krishna, and that one. The father now says, by recognizing me, you can attain liberation in life in a second. If Shri Krishna were God, anyone would constantly be able to recognize him. The birth of Shri Krishna is not remembered as a divine and a logic birth. He takes birth just through purity. The father does not emerge from anyone's womb. He says, sweetest spiritual children, it is spirits that study. All good and bad sanskars remain in each soul. Souls perform actions and they receive bodies accordingly. Some experience a lot of sorrow. Some are one-eyed and some are deaf. It would be said that they must have performed such actions in the past and that is the fruit of them. A soul receives a deceased body, etc., according to the actions that soul performed. You children now know that it is God, the Father, who is teaching you. God is the teacher. God is the preceptor. He is called God, Paramatma, and that means God, the Supreme Soul. Brahma cannot be called the Supreme Soul. The Supreme means the highest on high, the purest of all. So Baba is making things clearer for us that it is only Shiv Baba who is Supreme. Even Brahma cannot be called Supreme. Everyone has a different status. No one else can receive the status of Shri Krishna. No one else would be given the status of Prime Minister. The father's status too is different from that of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are deities, whereas Shiva is the Supreme Soul. How can they put the two of them together? And speak of Shiva Shankar, each is separate. Because of not understanding this, they say that Shiva and Shankar are one. So on the path of devotion, people still think that Shiva and Shankar are one. 
but no, Baba is saying that Baba is different from Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. They are the creation of Shiv Baba, but they are not the same. They even give such names to people. The father himself comes and explains all of these things. You know that the one is Baba. That one is Baba, the teacher and the Satguru. Every human being has a father, a teacher and a guru. When they become old, they adopt gurus. Nowadays, children are made to adopt gurus because they believe that if the child doesn't have a guru, they would be disobedience. Previously, people used to adopt gurus after the age of 60. That is the stage of retirement. Nirvana means become beyond sound the sweet silence home and you have been making effort for half a cycle to go there however if no one knows about it no one can go there how can they show the path to anyone else no one apart from the one can show you this Path. Not everyone's intellect is the same. Some simply listen to the religious stories, but there is no benefit in those. There is no progress. You are now becoming flowers of the garden. You become thorns from flowers and the father is now making you into flowers from the thorns. You were worthy of worship and you then became worshippers. From being Sato Pradhan, you became Tamo Pradhan, an impure while taking 84 births. The father has explained the picture of the ladder to you. No one knows how you now become pure from impure. The father has sorry, people saying, O oh, purifier, come. Come and make us pure. In that case, why do they consider river water and the ocean to be the purifier and go and bath? In that, they call the Ganges, so they call the Ganges the purifier. But where did rivers emerge from? They all emerged from the ocean. So. Baba is the ocean and we all are the rivers. So rivers emerge from the ocean. So Baba meant to say that, that it is only Baba who comes and makes us pure. It is not the river water then that can make us pure. All of them are the children of the ocean. So everything has to be understood very clearly. You children sitting here are in the company of the truth. When you go into the bad company outside, they tell you wrong things and you then forget all of these things. By going into bad company, you begin to joke. It is then that you know about doubts. However, these things should be forgotten. Our Baba is the unlimited Baba the teacher and he also takes us across. You have come here with this faith. All the rest is worldly education and worldly languages. This is a logic. The father says, my birth too is a logic. I take a body on loan. I take an old shoe. This is the oldest of the old. This is the oldest shoe. The body that the father has taken is called a long boot. So the body of the Brahma is very long, right? His height is long. So that is why Baba is saying that Baba has taken a long boot. This is such an easy thing. It is not something to be forgotten. However, Maya even makes you forget such easy things. The father is the father he also gives unlimited teachings that no one else can give. The father says, you may go outside and see if you receive them anywhere else. All are 
human beings. They cannot give this knowledge. God only takes the one chariot, which is called the lucky chariot. The father enters this in order to make you multi-million times fortunate. He is the closest bead. Brahma then becomes Vishnu. Shiv Baba makes this one that and he also makes you into the masters of the world through this one. The land of Vishnu is being established. This is called Raj Yoga to establish a kingdom. Everyone here is listening, but Baba knows that it flows away out of the ears of many, whereas some are able to imbibe it and then relate it to others. They are called Maharathis. They listen to it and imbibe it and then also explains it to others with interest. If the person explaining it is a Maharathi, others will quickly understand. They will understand less for a horse rider and even less from a foot soldier. The father knows who the Maharathis are and who the horse riders are. There is no question of becoming confused about this. However, Baba sees that some children continue to become confused and then continue to nod off. They sit with their eyes closed. Would someone nod off while earning an income? If you continue to nod off, how would you be able to imbibe this? If someone yawns, Baba understands that he is tired. There can never be tiredness in earning an income. Yawning is a sign of unhappiness. Those who continue to choke inside about something or other will yawn a lot. You are now sitting in the father's home. This is also a family. He becomes the teacher and also the guru to show you the path. You are called master gurus. Therefore, each of you should now become a right hand of the father so that you can benefit many others. In all other businesses, there is some loss. Whereas you change from an ordinary human into Narayan without any loss. Everyone's earnings are finished. Only the father teaches you the business of changing from an ordinary human into Narayan. So then, which study should you follow? Those who have a lot of wealth think that heaven is here. Did Bapu Gandhiji establish the kingdom of Rama? Oh, it is the same Tamu Pradhan world and sorrow continues to increase even more. So Baba is saying, those who have a lot of wealth here now, they think that heaven is here. Again, then Baba is saying, did Gandhiji establish the kingdom of Rama? If heaven were to be here, then there would not be any sorrow, but sorrow continues to increase even more. How could this be called the kingdom of Rama? People have become so senseless. Those who are senseless are said to be Tamo Pradhan. Those who are sensible are Sato Pradhan. This cycle continues to turn. There is nothing to ask the father about in this. It is the father's duty to give you this knowledge of the creator and creation. And he continues to do that. He continues to explain everything in the worldlies. You receive a response to everything. So what else would you ask? No one except the father can explain. So how can you ask about anything? You can write on a board. Come inside and understand how to become ever healthy and ever wealthy for 21 birds, Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, 
remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to you spiritual children. And we spiritual children says, Namaste to the spiritual father. Meete, meete, sikilade bachu prati, maat pita, bab dada ka, yaad pyaar aur good morning. Ruhani bab ki, ruhani bachu ko, namaste. Hum ruhani bachu ki, ruhani maat pita, bab dada ko, yaad pyaar, good morning aur namaste. Shukriya baba. Essence for dharna, point number one, listen very carefully to what the father says and imbibe it. Have an interest in relating it to others. Do not just hear it with one ear and let it out of the other. Never yawn at the time of earning an income. Number two, become a right hand of the father and benefit many others. Do the business of becoming Narayan and making others into Narayan from ordinary human beings. Blessing. May you stop listening to wasteful news and increasing your interest in it and put a full stop and thereby become free from following the dictates of others. While moving along, some children mix Srimad with the dictates of other souls so that when a Brahmin is relating news of the world, they listen to it with a lot of interest. You are unable to do anything about that and yet you listen to it. So that news goes into your intellect and time is then wasted. Therefore, the father's instructions are hear but do not hear. So anything which is not of waste of time, we need to put a full stop. Baba is saying that you are unable to do anything about the news that you hear, but still you listen to it. So it goes into your intellect and then it is a waste of time. So Baba is giving instructions that hear, but do not hear. You just hear from ear, but do not keep it in your intellect. Even if someone comes and tells you something, just put a full stop. Whatever you heard about someone, do not have any feelings of dislike in your visions or in your thoughts. For that person, you would then be said to be free from the dictates of others. And Baba is saying, even if someone comes and tells something, we have to put a full stop. Even in our thoughts and our visions, we must not have a feeling of dislike for that person. Then we are said to be free from the dictates of others. So very important and powerful Vardhan that Baba has given us today. Slogan, limited sanskars cannot emerge in the hearts of those with big hearts, even in their dreams. Acha Om Shanti.